Uh, it's nice to see that the news that's coming out now is better. Um, it's good to hear what Goldman's has got to say about things. Always nice to know that as well. And broadly speaking, I think it's a good working framework for making, good in, for making investment decisions. But what you have to be conscious of is that last half of last year was a, a real slowdown and therefore forecasts of a recovery into the first quarter, first half of this year are wishful thinking, which have got to be backed up by, by actual facts. There is a bounce back going on at the moment, both in terms of sentiment and also the numbers, because there was a, a holding off of making decisions in the latter part of last year. Whether or not that's sustainable or not is another matter. That's the issue. You know, and you look at Germany, as Jumana just said here at the top of the show, Germany narrowly missing going into recession. Their economy continues to shrink. At some point, either the Eurozone economy in Germany goes into recession or things recover. David, which way do you see it going? Well, I think your point earlier was really important about, about it being a big collective economy. And it also uh, added to that is that it is essentially a trading uh, group. Uh, a lot of European GDP is related to external trade. So it's a real barometer on, on global, the health of the global economy. But to me, make it practical about these things, though, it does worry me that, that the German economy is so heavily based on its, it, the car industry and that the car industry is struggling to meet consumer demand in, the, in terms of change of demand. So to put it in real perspective, talking to people who have car dealerships, we're talking about the last part of last year, they were selling 15% as many cars, not 15% less, but 15% as many cars as they had the year before. So there's bound to be a snapback now once these cars pass their emission tests, but it isn't going to last uh, beyond uh, that, 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 you know, the next month or so. After that, it's going to come down to demand. You know, one of our other top stories that the president here, Trump, reportedly is willing to extend the deadline on March 1st where tariffs on imported cars would go up to 25 percent, extend that by a couple of months. If we were to see a higher tariff rate on cars imported from Europe, I'm thinking BMW, I'm thinking Audi, I'm thinking Mercedes. If we see a higher tariff rate, David, do you believe that would be enough to really crush those sales and perhaps send the Eurozone into a recession? I think the fact that it's going to be delayed or potentially delayed has to be taken as good news. It was what was bothering us uh, and has been bothering us for some time. Uh, crush, don't know, because consumers do have their own particular way of making decisions based on, on value as well as price. But it's certainly not good news for, for, for the Euro, uh, European manufacturing because this is at the hub and the heart of the German economy.